false prophets running cowardly passes through with the sword of the word of God and bum rushing an apostate church crying out, repent. And now announcing, if the son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And in the name of that freedom, your servant, brother minister, takes the battle to them. Battle zone. At Potter's House, Denver. Purchased by TD Jakes as a business acquisition from the mega false prophet Dennis Leonard in Denver, Colorado. Yeah, I'm over here at this uh, one of the business locations of the well known TD Jakes and his false disciple clone. Pastor, so-called pastor, uh, Chris Hill. We're gonna go over there and uh, people are coming in, so we're just gonna plead with them. They got lots of security out here, so we'll see what happens. And this, places are not a thing. They're a place. A place of what? They're a place. Where the Lord will give us something, but we have to understand that blessings are a place where we're prepared to pass it on. He's living in a million dollar mansion. What you got? Him and his cronies are dying in the rich and poor. What you got? Jesus was homeless. Jesus says foxes have their home and birds have their nests, but the Son of Man. Has nowhere to lay his head. Jesus said, What greater love has anyone than they will lay down their life for their friends? Yeah. Jesus said, I'm on public property now. Jesus said this. Jesus said this. Many will come to me in that day saying, Lord, Lord, didn't I prophesy in your name? Didn't I cast out your demons in your name? Didn't I do all manner of good? And he will say to them, depart from me. You that work iniquity, I never knew you. Oh, people, that 40 acres of the mule gospel isn't going to get it done. The man didn't give us what we thought he should. So we run to the preacher. We ran from Jim Crow segregation to the spiritual bondage of Bishop and Reverend J.E. Crow. We assume that popularity means God is in the middle of it, but the Bible says, but not the world. Neither the things in the world, because if anyone loves the world like this, the love of the Father is not in them. These are God's words, not mine. These are the Bible, this is what the Holy Word of God says. Check it for yourself. Nevertheless, let's get to the book. Woe be to the pastors who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. You have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. But behold, I will visit upon you. You have found out the police couldn't help you, huh? The only help is the Word of God. I beg you, instead of wasting your time calling the police on me, and I'm not doing anything illegal out here, I'm preaching the Word of God on public property. I'm not going to lay back on that. Oh, people, please from the rest of the 
Red Cross Shepherd's head is on the chopping block. He's set for destruction and yet you follow him. They are dismayed. I am black. Astonishment has set the hold on me. For the hurt of the daughter of my people and my hurt. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? If so, says the word of God, why has the health of my people not recovered? Oh, it's not recovering because you don't believe this holy word of God. The Bible says, come unto me, all ye that are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You may bear. So a shepherd after your own heart can feed such a one as me. I ask, Lord God, to give this people a heart of repentance. Right now they have the police circling your service. Marvel not. And I remember your conversation, Lord God, with your servant Samuel. And he told him, he was like, you that rejected in being king but me. He put a demonic Michael Jackson thriller video on. This false shepherd, who the Bible says brings in damnable heresy and tries to associate it with the Holy Word of God. Woe to them! They call evil good. They do an evil. Woe be to the pastor who fatten himself while my sheep God. Woe be unto them! Speak to it. Because when the prophet, and I'm done, spoke to the bones, then he heard a sound. The Bible said he heard a rumbling. He heard a rumbling. See, it doesn't happen right away. If the whole thing doesn't come together right away, God just begins a rumbling in your situation. There begins to be a sinking in your situation. There begins to be a shift in your situation. You begin to hear the sound of God about to do something. He hasn't even done anything yet, but I can praise him because I hear the rumbling inside my spirit. The whole thing's not even done yet, but I can feel my change is coming. God is on the march. I hear the sound of the lion of the tribe of Judah and that lion is coming well, we went out we went out there to the potter's house Right out for Holy Ghost repentance on the people that were, you know, flowing in and uh, a couple of, and uh, I don't know how the video turned out, but we'll see. And a couple of uh, so-called church leaders came out there, and all I could do was tell them to repent. So those church leaders tell them to repent, beg the people not to go in, and uh, the a couple of uh, church goons, and that's all I can call them simply. You know, I call names because Jesus called people names. He's called them uh, uh, vipers and hypocrites. John the Baptist called them brood of vipers. Paul called them uh, liars and uh, you know, so on and so forth. So, you know, I call names because it's biblical to do that. Uh, you know, those a couple of church goons came out there, and this is like the second time uh, somebody's approached me acting as if they agreed with the word to try to bring harm. And they said the same thing, amen, 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 amen. And then they come up and the Bible says, this, uh, I believe it's Genesis third chapter, the serpent was more subtle uh, than he, or the woman and, uh, and more than any beast of the field that the Lord God had created. And his servants, uh, 
who Jesus said they're of their father the devil, Jesus said that, uh, are the same way. And we know that the word says, uh, marvel not that, uh, marvel not, because even Satan appears as angel of light. No wonder his ministers appear as the ministers of uh, righteousness. So he got on his little earpiece walkie-talkie uh, and said, call Rappo County, call Rappo County. That, that means the police that they have uh, setting up the, at the church. At, well, I ain't calling it a church. That's what they call it. So police, you know, the, I think the great news is, is that police didn't even come within 50 feet of me. They, they stood there. They listened to the good news. And, you know, I've stood on public property. Uh, so as soon as they came up, uh, you know, he, he said, well, can I help you, brother? Can I help you, brother? So what I did is I kind of just took a two steps back and stood on public property, got off private property, and the police had their arms up like, you know, what do you want us to do? And I know they told them I was on public property. Uh, so, what, I mean, what could, what could they do? Uh, so uh, with that said also, so I turned my back and they grabbed one of my, uh, the poles I had my, uh, that I was setting my, uh, uh, these uh, record, these micro camera in my uh, glasses, they grabbed the uh, pole, you know, kind of pulled it out of the ground and you know, that's okay. So whatever, but the, the Bible does tell us that the word will not return unto uh, him, the Lord void. And I want to, I really need to flat, uh, flush that out because, you know, teachers have to be careful, uh, you know, even apostles or pastors, uh, prophets, evangelists, teachers, they have to be careful instructing when they quote that uh, they uh, give the impression that the, the scripture that says the word will not return it to him void means people are going to uh, get saved. And we have to remember that that's not what it means at all. We, there's, there's eternal life, which is going to be uh, certainly was granted when we accept Jesus, but, and then there's eternal damnation. And we all return unto our creator, either, either at the great white throne judgment for what the Bible calls the unsaved dead or the judgment seat of Christ for uh, believers. And, when we return unto him to stand judgment judgment uh, at either one of those seats uh, that word is just going that seed that was planted is going to be revealed to them so we return unto him to receive those who don't save jesus you know they're going to receive uh, eternal damnation uh, because jesus said you know uh, if anyone comes unto me i will no wise cast them out so when we when it talks about returning to him, I'll set off to say this is that uh, he the Lord, once that word is dropped by whoever his servant is, that is either going to be the snare that they didn't accept it and rejected it uh, that will get them into the lake of fire or the seed that's replanted and it re didn't return voice. It grew up, it sprung out of the ground unto salvation is going to return to the judgment seat. So teachers stop teaching that that means you know, people are going to be saved because they heard the word. Because he, Jesus said to somebody, you're going to die in your sins because you don't believe I am who I says I am. And who can forget uh, the uh, whole Judas story who had the seed planted unto him, but he rejected it. And Jesus said, I, uh, of all of those you have given me, none of them have I lost except the one that was bound to be lost, which was Judas. So be careful with that. But we thank the Lord. Uh, we thank the Lord that we just stood out there for a short time. We marched around the place. Uh, reading the scriptures and uh, you know, there's some other strong meat uh, that ha that happened out there but I'm not going to you know say what exactly what that is that happened that I went over there also to accomplish so thank the Lord Jesus so be it.